So just leaving Edinburgh University at the moment. I'm in between two shows. One of them, the second one's just over here. But during my break, I've just come over to the other side of the university. This is called the Meadows, and I've been told it's basically your equivalent of the domain in Sydney, this sort of large open green space on the edge of the city. Uh, quite a large sort of park area. Just behind me over there is, I believe, a circus for the kids, a sort of like circus style atmosphere. Uh, it does kind of have that domain feeling, probably a little bit more trees everywhere so you don't have that one big expanse of green space. But right next to the city, uh, great sort of thing to have, I like it. I'd probably spend a little bit more time going to the other end, but I've got to head back and be ready for my next show. Well, it's my last night in Edinburgh, just past midnight. Checkout is in about nine and a half hours, but I am heading out for one last show. It starts at 1 a.m. and from what I've seen, it lasts for about four hours. So I'm expecting to get back to bed around 5, 5.30 in the morning, get a couple of hours sleep, check out, spend a few hours with some uh, friends of mine up from London, Frank and Charlene, especially old Australian friends who are here for the weekend. I'm heading out after this weekend. I'm getting out of Edinburgh because accommodation is so hard to find that I literally couldn't find anything affordable over the weekend. So I'm heading off, but not before I watch one last show. This is it. Last comment out for the evening. We have got absolute fringe legends for you, ladies and gentlemen. Last chance to make noise. You've been wonderful all night. On three, well the crazy head for a late man. You ready for your final act? No, we are near good enough for these boys. Anybody, you ready for your head for your act? On three, from your toes. One, two, three. the fuck he is, ladies and gentlemen, the brain's fucking gone. Uh, I tell you what, I can sense the fucking disappointment just washing over you when you look at us at this point in time. Yes, we are old fuckers, uh, but we, are, we love being back in Edinburgh. We first uh, walked these streets, uh, this fella as well walked these streets in 1987, and it's an absolute pleasure to be back in this fucking city. All right, so show's over. Uh, technically not, there is a band on now, so uh, I'm getting out a little bit early. It's only 3.30 in the morning. Doug Anthony All-Stars with the headline act, a uh, trio of uh, Australians who originally came down to Edinburgh in 1987 for the Fringe. Now, I'm not one to come out just to see Australian acts. I could have seen them in Australia, but I will make an exception for the Doug Anthony All-Stars because of their strong connection to Edinburgh back in the 80s. Um, so quite enjoyed that, uh, quite a few different acts. It is late, I need to get back and get some sleep. And then get up in the morning to finish up my last day here in Edinburgh. All right, how's it look? Do you yum yum? Yeah, can you put one in for me? <laughs> Love it. So, uh, yeah, Frank got me these sticks. I'm not sure if they're all that useful. For, okay, maybe they are. It's my first deep fried Mars bar. It's apparently a Mars bar in here. Oh, aha, aha. Mm, oh, oh, wow. Mm. That is hot. Very crispy. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh, that is so bad for me. I love it. That's good. Just the one. Just one. Compared to KFC, what's the speed of regret? Oh, gee, the thing about KFC is, I don't like KFC, but every two to five years, I'll go, you know what I want? KFC. And then I'll remember why I don't want KFC. This isn't even a two or five year thing. It's once in a lifetime. I never want one of these again, but it's so good. Highly recommend it, just once. When people ask you what's your highlight of Edinburgh, you're going to say the puff of smoke. 
Yeah. <laughs>